Ira Salt Mines is a salt mine located in Kira, some 160 kilometers from the capital Islamabad. Annually, over 50,000 visitors come here, and it is the second largest salt mine in the world. The Kira salt mines are nestled in the foothills of the salt range and are the oldest in South Asia. Mining for salt has been taking place since 320 BC in an underground area of about 110 square kilometers. Actually, uh, the salt in this area was uh, discovered uh, while Alexander the Great was uh, in battle with Raja Porus uh, at about uh, 326 uh, BC uh, when some of his horses leaked down the ground and he discovered, his troops discovered that this is the salt. After that, the salt was uh, excavated in different unscientific uh, ways. When the British annexed uh, the India and uh, they took over in 1850, they started scientific mining and uh, from there the mine is being operated scientifically and currently we are uh, operating the mine on those lines. A train dating back to the British Raj carries visitors into the vast Salt Mountain. The train gently carves and snakes through the tunnel towards an unoperational part of the mine developed by the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Resources as a tourist chamber. This part of the salt mine is now preserved to illustrate the fascinating and hidden kaleidoscopic beauty of this mine. These mines are special because they are both operational and also continue to serve as a tourist attraction. The Pakistan Mineral Development Corporation is also working with the Ministry of Tourism to fund more projects for the visitors' chambers. One of the unique features of these mines which fascinates visitors is the cool temperature inside, which is constant at 18 degrees all year round. The Kera salt mine has an estimated total of 220 million tonnes of rock salt deposits. 50% of the salt is extracted and 50% is left as pillars to keep the mountain. The salt mine is 945 feet above sea level and extends around three kilometres inside the mountains from the mine's mouth. The total length of all the tunnels is more than 40 kilometres. And in the operational part of the mine on each floor, there are 64 mining chambers, approximately 35 feet wide and 25 feet high. I'm standing in another typical mining chamber here at the salt mines. Now this particular level is known as the ground level or the sixth floor. There are another five floors of salt above and another 11 floors known below. Now this particular salt mine, the Gera salt mine, is three kilometers in length, whereas the entire range is a staggering 300 kilometers long. The mine employs 685 registered miners who are allowed to keep one helper each. The miners work 10-hour shifts and are paid approximately $3 per tonne of salt mined. The mine chamber will always remain the same width, whereas there is no limit to the depth of the chamber. 20,000 metric tonnes of rock salt is mined at Kevra every single day. On my watch, I supervise mining in 40 chambers. We carry out various checks inside the chamber to observe the structure and ensure no fault lines are developing. Once the chamber is prepared for the explosive and blasting is complete, my job is to supervise the removal of any overhanging salt rocks from the chamber roof. In addition, we ensure that the miners are not overworked by enforcing regular rest breaks. We're standing here in a typical mining chamber here in the Kera salt mines and interestingly nearly all of the work which is carried out here is carried out manually. Now the men behind me are preparing six foot holes which are running along the entire face behind me of this wall and then these particular holes will be prepared for gunpowder. The chamber will then be evacuated ready for the explosion. The visitors chambers are on a regular dome like structure. There are seven thick salt seams with a cumulative thickness of around 150 metres. At places, the rock salt is 99% pure. The salt is transparent, white, pink and reddish to beef colour red. Now, there are beautiful alternate bands of red and white colour salt. Inside these mesmeric chambers, you see saline pools which stretch up to 80 feet deep in places. We are currently developing a new area here in the visitor's chamber. This we will name the Diamond Valley. We only recently discovered this area while knocking through two empty chambers. 
what we discovered inside was truly unique. The colors, shapes and beauty of the ceiling and walls takes your breath away. We hope to open this chamber to the public in a few weeks' time. Also inside, there is a beautiful functional mosque which was constructed some 60 years ago, built entirely of salt bricks and illuminated to show the myriad of colours of these salt bricks. In the same chamber also lies a beautifully carved 25 feet tall replica of the Minare Pakistan monument of the city of Lahore, again completely made from rock salt. And visitors are also treated to a jagged, stunning display of stalactites formed by seeping rainwater from the chamber roof and walls. The visitors' chambers are indeed a beautiful illustration of the beauty of rock salt seen in its rawest and most natural form before being refined and ending up on your dinner table. Mining has been taking place in these particular salt mines for approximately 150 years since the time of the British Raj. Now the Pakistan Mineral Development Corporation estimates that if it continues at the steady rate of mining of around 20,000 metric tons per day, mining can continue here for at least another 100 to 150 years. Adil Sabir